I think all of our lives have been affected by COVID in some way. Uh, we all know somebody that has been affected by COVID. That is true for teachers, that's true for Northeast Tech, that's true for Oklahoma in general. It's true for our nation, it's true for our world. As a teacher and as a nurse that has worked through the pandemic in a hospital, COVID has affected all of us. And today will be a little bit different. As you know, um, it's a COVID sim. The thing that makes it the most different is that we've always done bed surge or ICU cases, right? This is our first patient that's going to come in here with you on. This lab specifically helps our students in a couple of ways. It just helps them understand what it's like to take care of a COVID patient. The other thing we do with this sim specifically is infection control so that they understand why they have to have the proper PPE and why they have to wear it every time um, and how important it is for their safety and for infection control for the entire hospital and facility that they're in. intense to me because it has such a dark cloud associated with it. It's a real life situation that we're unfortunately going to be faced with probably forever. Um, but I loved it because we get real life scenarios to help us to be better equipped when we're dealing out there in the field with real life human beings and time is of the essence. training that we're doing that really puts the student in a real life experience and has them deal with the emotions and have, has them deal with all of the stress that they have to deal with as a nurse, it properly prepares them so they don't think that it's going to be Grey's Anatomy and then get out there and realize that it's not and leave nursing. What we're doing is preparing them by showing them what it's really like. And then if they know what it's like, they know what they're getting into, and then they're prepared for what they're going to experience as nurses. Really appreciate the fact that we get to, to study and be introduced to situations here in a really safe environment where there's no judgment. Um, it's all learning. Um, the pressure's down so that when we are faced with it, I can tell you for me personally, when I'm out there um, at our clinical sites, I feel way more confident because I have worked on the skills here and not perfected them, but have worked towards perfecting them so that when I'm out there in the real world, I'm not nearly as I'm scared and I have a lot more confidence. I worked in the hospital when the pandemic started and um, I was at Walmart one day and I saw a previous student and we were kind of talking about the pandemic and what it was like to be living this and working this at the hospital and she started crying and I felt like um, we were kind of sending students out to war or to battle without having the proper tools that they needed to win it because COVID just seemed so different and even me working in the hospital I felt like I went in and didn't know what I was supposed to do or what training I needed, and the hospitals were doing the very best they could, but nobody really knew. There were so many unknowns. And thankfully, we're to a place now where we kind of understand it, we've researched it, um, we have really worked hard to know what we can do to help patients, but also protect our healthcare staff. And unfortunately, not everybody has had the time to get that training because they're so busy at the bedside. So I felt like it is our responsibility to train them before they hit the floors. So that way they have the training they need to not only take care of the patients the best they can, but to take care of themselves. Um, if you love something, it's never gonna feel like a job. And I think the world needs people that want to be a nurse. So we need people who care. Um, so I say do it. I'm 44 years old. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs>